How's it going, everyone? So today's a pretty big day. I'm really excited. I've got a pretty big update here. And you can actually download this and try it out for yourself as well. Um, I meant to get this video out last weekend. However, um, I was really close to being at this point. But every time I made some progress, it seemed like another bug popped up and set me back again. So that, that kept happening throughout the week. And yeah, it it brought us to well here. <laughs> Finally I, I got them all I got them all sorted for the most part, all the big ones. Uh, there's still a few minor bugs here that I will, will go over as I explore. But uh yeah, now one of the main things that took so long to get this out was that I opted to stay with grid-based movement by default. That way it's as close to the default move system as possible. I do plan to add uh, off-grid movement and it will be done probably relatively soon. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I have made a separating axis theorem collision detection method and that is all done. I just need to plug it in. But for the grid-based movement, I used ray tracing instead, as I think it's a little bit better suited for that kind of movement. And uh, it kept setting me back. <laughs> Every time I get something done with it, it just... Uh, something else would pop up. But it's finally all working. You can see here that uh it's pretty pretty much just like default you don't can't go through walls and uh you can go up slopes and what's pretty cool is you can see up here i got a bridge and you can cross that bridge and then you can also come down here and go below it as well But yeah, so you can't collide, or you collide with stuff from the side, especially the slope here. You can see that we can't go up it from the side, but we can go up it from here. And the cool thing is that these slopes, when you scale them down or shrink their height, the collider is automatically adjusted for you. So the collider will automatically fit whatever shape orientation or size of collider you make or size of mesh you make so if i were to make this slope longer like extend all the way out here then it would still collide just fine you wouldn't have to make any adjustments you don't have to mess with colliders whatsoever in the editor you just build your map and everything works and you can see actually this this slope here is less steep than this slope. This slope up top is 45 degrees and this one down here is 27.5 roughly. So yeah, that, that's about all there is for this map. Um, you can go up here, walk across and walk under it. And uh, you can go into this area and this is a dungeon that I made. It's pretty much a first person labyrinth. You don't have events or anything like that. So there's nothing in here. It's just walking around. And I made uh, some minor edits to the code to make it work like a first person labyrinth explorer. So you just press the back button and you do a full 180. You press the left button and you turn left by 90 degrees, right button, right by 90 degrees. And you can't move your camera in this mode. So there's that. And uh, I actually have a mode set up 
well halfway set up where you can build a game something similar to like Doom from the Super Nintendo. Um, you'll be able to move your camera around with the mouse. You won't have to click. It'll automatically center the mouse for you and you just rotate your camera around freely. But that'll be a little bit later. I don't think grid-based movement is going to work too well for that. Uh, one other problem here is this, as if you can see these lines on the floor and the lines above the player's head. Um, that's a problem with my fragment shader. I do have a solution for this. I know of a way to fix this. It's going to take a little bit of rewriting, but nothing major. It should be done relatively quickly. You can also zoom in and zoom out. Um, another problem is this right here. The camera just clips right through your tiles and that probably you don't want that happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a collider around the camera. That way the camera will push itself out of anything that it's possibly colliding with. And um, there's a couple other things here, like if you tilt your camera too high up, you can see the character's head clips through the wall here. And that doesn't look too too nice. So there's a few things you can do. Um, you can limit your camera so that you can only tilt a certain amount or make it a static camera so the player can't rotate it at all. Or you could, uh, you can see right here in the slope as well, it happens. You could also limit your slopes to not be so steep. Or I do plan to add a uh, way to prevent billboarding on the x-axis. That way it doesn't tilt this way, it just rotates around the camera. So if you turn your camera like this, it'll just rotate along this way, but it won't turn the character like that, so that he's flat on the floor. And that's it, so thanks for watching. You can find a download for this down below. Um, you won't have access to the editor right now. It's just these two maps that you can walk around and explore in. But it should give you an idea of what this engine will be capable of. And if you want to support the project, again, in the description below, you can find links to my Patreon and Coffee account. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching and take care.